Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and in this episode I will walk you through how to record in Studio One 7 Pro in 7 minutes. And yes, I will share with you the essential shortcuts to record. Let's get into it. All right, and we are here in Studio One Pro and the very basics here on the start page are that you need to make sure that the audio interface that you're gonna be using, it's right here in the playback device and the recording device as well. In my case, it's the Universal Audio Apollo X6, so this is correct. And you can choose your device block size right here and a 32 or 64 work really good for me now. Uh, as um, you probably already know and if you don't know the higher your block size then the higher the latency so make sure to have uh, one that you can handle well so i'll click ok and then i'll just go right here where it says new and we have the plus sign and i can change to tutorial the name and i can choose here where to um, save this song or uh, song session and I can choose also the sample rate 44.1 kilohertz is good I don't need to go higher than that so that's fine if I would like to open a file then it will be over here or if I would like to drop some files it will be over there but this is not the case so I'll just click OK and now we are at the song session page and the very first thing I would like to note here is that the tempo which is one of the very first things that I adjust on my song sessions is here at the right bottom part of the screen it is at 120 but you can change to 45 or you can change to 110 or whichever number makes uh, the most sense for your project so that's the tempo right there and then um, in order for me to explain you a little bit more about the controls how about if I just go ahead and press the letter T on my keyboard right there and you will see that you can add tracks so you can add just one if you wanted to or you can add five or uh, however many you're going to be needing but in my case let's only add three and you can change the name this could be an instrument like a guitar or in the case you're going to record a synthesizer then um, if it's a stereo you can change the format here to stereo but I'm going to record my voice so I'll just make it in mono and it will be uh, just like that let's go ahead and click OK and you can see the three different tracks I'm gonna change the color of track 2 maybe I'll do it blue and track 3 I'll probably do it green in the case I would like to record in track number 1 so you see how it's highlighted in comparison to uh, tracks 2 and 3 if I pl uh, press letter R it arms as you can see now my voice is going here I'll press R again and now um, it is not arm before recording um, there's something you need to know and it is the metronome section over here and if you press the letter C in your keyboard the metronome turns on and if you press again it turns off so I'll keep it on right now and also you can have a pre-count if you wanted to so I'll keep the pre-count uh, active so you see what it does so let me go ahead and record something really really quickly here so letter R and now that the track is armed let me bring my cursor to the bottom of the screen and press record in the circle and you can see that my voice is going right there and I can increase or decrease my volume levels my voice is being recorded that is fantastic so I had to press this button right here so now let me press stop to stop recording and you can see that everything got recorded right there so going to 
uh, this area over here, we have the arrow, but then if I want to cut something, I press number three, which turns it into the split tool or knife or blade, however you want to call it. So you go split parts, for example, if you didn't like that, and then to turn it into the arrow again, just press one and you can move it around if that's what you wanted to do or you can delete it by just pressing number four turning into the eraser and erase like that but if you didn't like to do that it was a mistake then just do control z or command z and it comes back and if i do it a couple of times it goes back to the original so basically it undoes it so i go back to number one this can be moved around and also um we can decrease the volume just by dragging down the track or increase the volume right there. In the case, I would like to zoom in the other shortcut for that. It's going to be letter E in your keyboard and it zooms in. And if I want to zoom outwards, then I place letter W. So that's pretty much in a nutshell how to do that. And now if I would like to add a compressor, then I go here to the effects section click on Presonus. If you have Studio One um, 7, then you will have these um, effects as well. So let's go and try to find a compressor, for example, and you can just drop it in right there and it is on here. The compressor is off. Now I'll turn it back on and see how it sounds. My volume levels, my voice is being recorded. That is, And you see the metronome is still active. So let's turn it off and play it again it's fantastic so and these are the controls if i want to go back to the beginning there it goes remember how i move this then i can just move it back over here and then play and you can see that my so that's perfect so and with that we're about to hit the seven minute mark um, so let me just show you a final thing for example if i would like to mute this section then i just got it with the splitting tool and then I will just uh, use the mute tool and mute that part and then you will not listen to it. Look at that. That my and I can okay so that's how it works those are pretty essential tools and where else could you find for example if this is gone then you go here and you go to your mix and in the mix you'll see your track number one where you put the compressor you can open it up again right there and here is where you will find the controls all right and that is all for this episode if you learned something in this video don't forget to smash the like button and for more videos like this don't forget to subscribe thank you for stopping by and i'll see you in the next one bye bye